Why don't you just close your eyes? Father, I feel like you sent me tonight to awaken hearts. Would you just begin talking to the Lord right now? Father, begin to touch people. Lovingly strike our hearts with the revelation of your beauty, your face. There's nowhere else to go, Lord. Nowhere else to go. Nowhere else to go. Light hearts on fire right now. The Lord is calling us into a deep saintliness. I, I, I don't have all the language for what he's been showing me. But he's calling us into a holy, holy place in the presence of God. A place where that no tool can touch the altar. A place where God is inviting us. I'm telling you right now, there will be hours and hours and hours of silence sitting in the presence of God corporately. Stuck in the wonder of the Lord just completely stuck and the holy light of his presence the holy light that's void of mixture that's where God is inviting us into I, I don't know how else to say it I hope you're grabbing it but he is inviting us into the depths of his presence where this holy glow resides it's his glory it's pure and there's nothing to do there but behold him that's where he's inviting us I'm telling you this, I, I'm giving you this, this, there will be hours and hours and hours of, 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 of this house staring at the Lord, beholding him, realizing that nothing they could do in that moment would match the moment. Nothing. No song, nothing will do it. Just, just staring. And in that moment, the Lord begins to take over and he benches us. He benches us. This isn't the, I'm speaking prophetically now. This isn't the place of cooperation. This is the place of just giving up. It's the place where God begins to expand the tent. Waiting on the Lord hour upon hour upon hour upon hour. You'll hear the sounds of these gentle whispers and back into silence. And it's in that place the Lord will begin to feed you with himself. Heavenly bread will be available. I believe that. I believe Miller will get up to preach and he'll be so stuck. And after two hours of being stuck and you'll be stuck in silence beholding the Lord, you're going to leave full and not even know how. Because in that place, deep will call unto deep. The Lord himself will feed you with himself. And it will be the house of the Lord. It will be the house of the Lord. It will be the house of the Lord. And, and hear me, you will walk in fearfully, You'll walk in with wonder. You won't be afraid to come in, but you will tread lightly on the ground of his presence. You'll come in realizing that the moment you break the threshold, it's like you stepped into another world because you did. You stepped in. You stepped into his world. You're in the spirit. You'll gently bring your needs. I'm speaking to you, family. You'll gently bring your needs to the Lord. You'll whisper them maybe for a minute. You'll have a minute of prayer requests and hours behind it. You'll know when to ask. And when the Lord comes so close that way, you'll know you're asking in faith because he's the spirit of faith. You'll behold and behold and behold and behold and behold hour after hour, staring, 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 staring. Listen, all the hardness of our hearts 
is going to be driven out by the tenderness of the Lord. And when you walk out, people are going to say, what did they talk about there? You're going to say, they just said him. What did you come away with? I came away with him. My hard heart is soft now. I'm tender. Tears are flowing again. This is the presence of Jesus. It's the presence of Jesus. Just close your eyes for a moment and ask him, ask him, ask him to touch you. Just ask him, say, Lord, here I am. I hear your call. I hear you. I hear you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Draw me and I'll run after you. Quicken me and I will call. Well, the king brings me into his chamber. talking about the bread of life. 